This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. But you don't have to start paying for the escrow right away, so you can start paying for it after the second or the third week of working for us. Hello, this is with Beverly Freight Trucking Company. How can I help you? Yes. How you, how you doing? Well, sir, thank you for... I just rudely got hung up on. The last lady was just very rude to me. I, I don't understand it. Who do you speak to, sir? I, I had the slightest idea. I just forgot her name that quick. That's how fast it was. What were you told before, sir? What did, what did the other recruiter tell you? I... She ain't tell me nothing. She hung up on me. Do you help SAP drivers with the return to duty status? No, sir. At the moment, we're not accepting SAP drivers. That's just the company policy. I'm very sorry to tell you that. How much experience do you guys require? So, for now, uh, one year. Sir. We accept drivers with one year of experience. Drug screening, hair follicles, and urine or both? Uh, you will do a drug test over urine, sir. What kind of lanes you guys got available? And do you guys run Canada? Uh, no, we don't run in Canada, sir. And we don't have any dedicated lanes. So only we have our own team of dispatchers and brokers that find the loot for us, and uh, yeah, they, they take care of that part. Mileage pay. Do we get paid by the mile, or do we get pay percentage? Okay, so you're going to be, since this is the lease purchase program that we have available, sir, would that be something you're interested in? Okay, so you're going to be paid by the percentage of the load driven, 88% of the gross goes to you, 12% goes to the company. Center. This will be 1099 for you, right? Uh, yes. Responsibilities oh, is on me, including escrow? Yes, sir. Yes, you will have a one-time escrow expense of $2,000 that can be paid over eight weeks for 250 a week. But you don't have to start paying for the escrow right away, so you can start paying for it after the second or the third week of working for us whenever you feel comfortable. How much the expenses will be for me every week? Okay, so your weekly expenses can range from eleven to $1,500 maximum, depending on the year of the truck that you choose. And this is the price that includes everything, so cargo insurance, trailer rent plus insurance, PLV pre-fast truck payment and truck insurance. There. This would be percentage by the load, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you will get rate confirmations after accepting a load. Uh, will I be able to pick from a load board? Uh, you will. You will always have the option to either accept or decline load. The, the dispatcher will take care of finding the loads for you, sir. But you will be in contact with him on a daily basis, and you can just be open with him, like accept to decline. Where do you want to drive? You can drive. We drive in all 48 states. You can, of course, run and uh, choose to run if you'd like in the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. That's up to you, sir. Do you prefer Midwest because the average load pay is the highest over there. What about the uh, truck computer and how will I get my dispatches? Will I get it through a truck computer or would it come through my phone? You're going to be on the phone with your dispatcher, sir. Do I get any type of phone compensation for, for use of my personal phone? Well, mostly you're going to be receiving calls, so I don't think there's any phone kind of compensation then. Included in the offer, so I'm sorry. I'm assuming this is not forced dispatch. No forced dispatch. Everything's going to be live load, live unload, no touch to the driver. What it's models that you guys have available and what's the years? Okay, sir. So, so we got Cascadia Freightliner, Canaris P680, Peterbilt Pipes, and Jack. Can you stand the line for one moment? She's very informative. I like her. Let's see how long she's going to keep me online. Okay, sir, I'm back. I'm sorry for that. Do they have cameras in the trucks, and what are they governing that? Uh, the trucks are governed in 73 speed, all of them. And regarding the cameras, uh, that's only optional. So, so if you prefer to have cameras, you can have them installed. Any sign-on that... incentives with you guys or no? Uh, what do you mean, sir? Are you asking about the bonus? Or sign-on bonus. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we do have a sign-up bonus. If you stay in the company for at least three months, you'll get 500 Yeah, thank you for your time and information, ma'am. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And uh, call me back if you have any other questions. I, I will do that. I will do that. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you, sir, and you have a good day. So let's just start off with the people that's in recruiting. Listen, I don't understand what is the big deal with with the telephone that you need to know the telephone number that a driver is calling from there's a lot of reasons why the driver phone number don't show up because the driver might be using a company's phone and nine times out of ten that driver don't want that company's phone to be broadcast like my for example right my guy d nitty his phone is connected to night transportation. You guys know D Nitty. He drives for night. He's the trainer for night. So his phone is connected to night transportation. 
So say, for example, he used that phone, that phone shows up showing on their system. And let's just say for some God awful reason, that company decides to call and night transportation automated picks up the phone. So that company will be like, oh, well, he works for night transportation and we can start the vetting process. No, 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 no. The vetting process don't start until I put the application in. Then I will put my phone number in. Then I will put my information in. That's when it all starts. But if I'm just calling just to see what you guys have to offer, because on your website, if any, it says, hey, call a recruiter if you have any questions. And that's all I have is questions. So I did not put the application in. And that's what I explained to the young lady. No, I, I didn't put the application in. I'm, I only got questions. I'm only asking questions. I'm asking questions for you guys. So when you guys decide to call them, then you will put your phone number in. You'll put your phone number in the system. It will be connected to your phone so that they would call you like crazy. When you put your phone number out there and let's say black ops companies such as that one, they will continue to call say, hey, your number is in our system. We thought that we'll give you a call because you might be interested in one of our lease purchase programs. But you only want to know about that information that one time, though. You you see where I'm going with that? So by this recruiter, the first one being rude and hanging up on a driver, that's not cool. That's that's not cool. You don't need to see the phone number, especially if you just call in for information. That's that's my mode of thinking. A lot of people call from different phone numbers. A lot of phone numbers don't even show up. So if I see a private number, I'm not going to answer it because it's private. But I'm not a business, though. Now, a business, on the other hand, yeah, you want to answer that call. You definitely want to answer that call, right? Right? Because it might be a potential driver that might be interested in what you guys have to offer. So let's talk about it. The information that I need to know to see if it'll work. 88% of the mile. That seems like the going rate of all the companies that is located in Illinois. Beverly Freight out of Alsip, Illinois. It seems as though that 88% of the load seems as though it's the going rate for all these companies that's located out there. Hey, what you got to offer? 88% of the load. Hey, what you got to offer? 88% of the load. Oh, well, what you got to offer? 88% of the load. Oh, so basically, majority of the companies out of Illinois is 88% of the load. Oh, so there's really no, no difference between, let's say, Black Ops Company A and Black Ops Company B. Because basically what you guys are doing is lease purchase program. You're leasing the truck and trailer, and you're only offering 88% of the load. So what makes this company better than the next company when they be advertising on Facebook or Instagram? All you guys is only offering 88% of the load. That's it. Y'all not offering 100%. Y'all not offering 90%. Y'all not offering 95%. It is 88% of the load. So what makes you, company A, better than company B that's offering the same exact thing? Now, don't get me wrong. The, the second recruiter, great information, great conversation. I'm going to give her a a seven out of a seven out of 10 for for the information, for the conversations. She she was nice. She only put me on hold for a couple of minutes. She came back, finished up the conversation. And, and that was it. The first recruiter, I'm going to give her a big fat zero period zero. Not everybody's phone numbers is going to show up. And I'm only just asking for information. Let me explain this right quick. If I'm interested in the information that you give me and it sounds good to me, then I will go to the next step. Then I will say, hey, my phone number is such and such and such and such. And here's my credentials to go forward. That's how that works. 
that's how it's supposed to work. It ain't supposed to work while you trying to get in it with a driver. It don't work like that. But see, some of these recruiters feel entitled. They feel like you need them. So that's why they come at you some kind of way. So yeah, drivers, again, when you vet these companies, this is what you need to be doing. You need to call these companies. And if the recruiter comes at you some kind of way, how that's going to work for the company, though? If the company, if the recruiter coming at you all rude and how is that going to work with the company itself? It all starts with the recruiter. They're going to have more than one person in the recruiting department. Give a call back and see if the next recruiter is better than the first one. That's it. That's all. That's all. Shout out to the second recruiter to give us the good information that we need. Unfortunately, SAP drivers, no, they're not accepting SAP drivers. Unfortunately, this was a company that was on the SAP list of companies that was SAP friendly. But as you guys heard, no, they're not accepting SAP drivers. If you guys are interested in Beverly Freight, the information will be in the description below. Drivers, if you driven or drive for Beverly Freight, let us know of your experience with them. Is it a good company? Is it a bad company? Did you have experience with the first recruiter? Let us know in the comments below. Get your suggestions in now for the next MTC review. You can do that three ways. One way is by the Gmail. That is lockoutmen podcast guest at gmail.com. Or you can just leave it in the comment section per usual. And if you want to support the cause, you can do that by way of the Cash App. That is dollar sign, lockout men. Leave who you want to know in the notes and we will get you that shout out for supporting the call. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? next, next, next.